to escape. Find a shuttle. Okay, what's happening here? The stains of fuseline and blood blankets the starboard. Echoes of shouts and gunfire drift over the landing pads. The shards of plexiglass crunch under food. You recognize Sergeant Malakar amid the crowd, huddled next to shadows. He was the soldier who greeted you upon your arrival on Ricard Minoris. <laughs> My enforcers gave him uh, armor. <laughs> What's going on here? Our esteemed governor and his gang of cronies have been covering behind us and now when things get rough, they thought they could scarper, leave us here to die. We have saved our blood for him and broken our backs to provide for him and after all this, we think it's that's fair but you piece of croak shit. Don't say anything, don't say anything, don't say anything. Better choice than 25. Okay, I, I told him to let that. Ah, that was our shadow. You thought you had killed Aurora, false believers. Tremor, for I am Aurora. I am the Herald of Change. Behold the final dawn and die. That's okay, a space marine. Your arrogance will be your downfall. We bear the word of truth. Uh, this this being bad, that doesn't even cover it. Not, not at all. That's a wor worse than ba bad. And he has a heavy bolter, so that's that's kind of bad. That's a space marine. Okay, K a space marine, but still he's he's pretty bad customer. Go down easy. A power <laughs> very power kick. I'm kick. That's pretty nice armor penetration. As the Emperor commands, I act. Yeah, he has huge amount of hit points. As the Emperor commands, I act. Bird soul. Yes, please. <laughs> Ten points of damage. I won't object to it. Well, he's a crazy person, so... Uh, I mean, look at him. This this is normal man. Maybe tall man. This is the space marine. Okay. I'll 
I'll do it. I don't need luck. I have strategy. Doors, doors don't look to I'll make it happen. Too dangerous. Yet. in uh, adjacent damn 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 but of course we'll do okay psychic powers do uh, damage for him I'm not so sure Abelard needs, needs a lot of dodge and the machine spirit Expose weakness five points of damage to the space marine that's good Pain and duty go hand in hand Ah, uh, she, she's in a close combat, so that's why she can't. That's going to react. He's going to react. Ouch. That wasn't get great. My Emperor. I don't think I can show him, but... Okay, he's Victory definitely our sworn enemy. Fourteen points of damage to the chaos space money. That's good. And he needs an enduring. To it personally. You never stood a chance. Okay, that, that works. On it. Doubt is for the weak. A two points of damage to Apple Art. Anything else? 
Oh no, what, what's he, what is he doing? Something. But then again, there's these guys here. My Mist. Oh no. Oh no. Where is he? Is he going? Case Beast Marine can actually. Hey, he's out shooting our shadow. That's not fair. She's out of ammo. What's that power? Aurora. So Aurora is as Okay, space marine. Oh no. I won't. I, I think. I think I'm just going to charge him. But of course, I'm done with this one. <laughs> that didn't go so well. Oh no. Oh no. This sacrifice will forge our way to victory. Heinrich is down. That was pretty balls. At your back and call. I missed. Why are you missing? Running by Derek override. Who think that they are shooting their own on old side? So that's that's a bonus. Shadows start to bleed. Oh no. Yeah. What of course? Removing stacks for the for the extra benefits. 
He's destroying those shuttles. No. What is he doing? Oh, he's going to shoot us. Yeah, Faith without deeds is worthless. Doubt is for the Go. <laughs> Ah, uh, he's she's down. Injury is not an excuse to shirk one's duty. <laughs> okay. I will do my duty. He's he's crazy. At your back and call. Victory is imminent. Yeah, shotgun doesn't have a armor piercing, so at your back and call. Okay, he can move Follow to the close combat. I will do my duty. Can he bleed? Maybe. Maybe not. Let's try it. Oh, well, at least he's, he's doing decent damage. Okay, no reactive attacks, apparently. Okay, he destroyed one shuttle and there's more friends to him. Closer. Yes. Ah, oh, Space Marine down. Kaya Space Marine down. This is a silly place. Mace West. Repel sniper rifle. That's actually pretty nice damage. Realize how it how how badass they are. Thanks be the Emperor, you are alive, your, your lordship. We are most gratified for, by your return and the crew is full of zeal to carry out all, any orders you may have. Before anything else, I will hear an account what happened to the system's sun. Lord Captain, we saw number of ships approaching the sun. Black creations of inhuman make among arms of sharp angels and edges. They surrounded the star, the star and then... My apologies, but I struggled to find words. That could describe that terrible sight. The Xenos made the sun vanish into the void. That's actually... Uh, 
Dark Eldar can do that. They have been stealing, stealing star, stars before. Drukhari, yeah, he, he knows them. As we, uh, if we did not have enough troubles on our hands already. Breed of Eldar is the most cruel and devious of their kind. A design of their ships matches the description provided by the Voxmaster. Like our Xenos, the Drukhari are applied to the face of the galaxy, but their technological superiority is dis indisputable. They abhor and fear the war fear warp sorcery, which is why they rely on creations of their twisted in intelligence. Many of those creations are capable of things that may seem akin to sorcery, the uh, unenlightened eye. The theft of the sun is one example of, of what they are capable of. The Xenos in league with Aurora's cultists. We can rule out that possibility. The Drukhari would never ally themselves with the Archenemy's worshippers. If I had to n name one thing to humanity and those Xenos have in common, it would be that sh shed loading for warp corruption. Although they are slightly corrupted otherwise. Uh, situation calls for immediate action. We can continue this conference later if you should be, but right now I believe you should, you should assume command. Unable to receive your request for evacuation. Box links were overwhelmed by interference, screams, blasphemy, beams, hymns, and equally sinister noises. What's happening on the planet now? Our auger operators are reporting. Numerous uprisings and manifestors are given powers. And so people are converting to the Plasminus Final Dawn cult in mass and assembling prayer circles. Also, they just lo lost the sun, so I think that's kind of major, major issue. Got situ situation on board. Navigation sanction is no longer empty, but the warp engine is still refusing to obey the engine chairs. That is, we cannot perform a warp jump. It may be angry, or perhaps it is lamenting the injuries it has suffered. I will immediately initiate the preparation for prayer service. If the omen sire grants me comprehension, it, I will appease the machine spirit of this uh, vessel. Retaking the planet, I fear the Lurkat Minoris is lost. Situation deteriorating by the minute. We must leave this system as soon as possible. However, there are still people on the planet who have not succumbed to heresy and are, who are worthy of rescue. Besides a small number of our own shuttles, we have also shuttle salvage from the starboard. The case of sister battle vans. We must save as many as we can. This has all, has all happened for a reason. Saint Argenta, whose name I carry with the reverence and trepidations, is famed for saving the people of the dying world to the power of prayer. The God Emperor himself sent a star from the heavens that lifted the saint that follows up, up to the sky. Mites uh, täällä? Well, Mites täällä? Avaruushaltijat pölli auringon. Nyt ei mene hyvin. Uh, we must do as she did, direct our efforts to saving those people who has moment look to the heavens in hope of salvation. So this is pretty interesting because Sister uh, Argenta is, is uh, compassionate, Sister of Battle. Uh, so that's that's something that's not usually attributed to Sisters of Battle. The lives of peasants are of little value. My prime objective is to save the whole drill. It's Mir Miracle's fusion reactor. The Electro Priest will guard the dead to it. Every moment we spend in proximity of dying world, we are putting ourselves at risk. 
Your life is more valuable than all of you got minorities. Okay, so I need I need to select <laughs> select who I who I'm going to follow. Oh no, my followers. Somebody is going to be pretty really disappointed. Basic day in the office. Uh, yeah, yeah. Basic day in the office. If the office is in the 40k Warhammer 40k, that's basic basic day. We have an inquisitor. <laughs> with us. The world is doomed and in inhabitants along with it. The disappearance of the star was the final nudge toward death. The final of the cult of the final dawn's plans. I once witnessed a similar event, a world that ha had suffered uh, to the servants of the arch enemy and permitted corruption to uh, enter, enter too deep. At this moment, millions of people are bowing down before those who promised them salvation. And they are willingly giving over the, their souls to chaos. Sacrifice great enough to bring forth the demon world. Oh no. Only hope of stopping this process is really to the safe distance from the planet and conduct target, targeted bombing of the Electro Priest's monastery. If we blow up the reactor, terminal care reaction will follow. The world's oxygen will evaporate. So basically, exterminators. Killing of the entire biosphere. We are in doing this. We will save millions from of souls from the fate worse than death, and we will save Rukat Minoris from becoming outpost of the Ark enemy. Whatever fates you choose for this world, I urge you to make haste, Lord Captain. The balance is burning and raging flashes in crimson and purple. I can see it even from the orbit. I can see that the storm is already upon us. With every moment that we waste, it grows even more difficult and perilous to steer the ship through the warp's turbulent currents. I'm with lady. <laughs> I'm with the lady on this. End of talking. We need to get out of here while we still can. Okay, because, uh, because I'm dogmatic character, I probably have only, only this choice here. Why can we not try to activate at least some of the people? Transform for the simple reason that the transformation process will soon become irreversible. And our sole weapon against it useless. The energy released by the bombardment could stoke the warp energies. I never witnessed the aftermath of bombing the demon world before. But there's enough evidence of such attempts for me to say with the confidence that you do not want to see it. Okay, dogmatic. It's an optional course I carry out the orbital strike on the Electropist Monastery. Look at Minoris must fall. Yes, we are doing the uh, exterminators, we are killing billions of people right now. Funny game! <laughs> The, the right choice, Lord Captain, made the sa sacred experiment cleanse this veil of corruption. What's going on here? The warp sextant is not responding to com commands. The ship spirit is reacting or prayers in anger. I'm currently calculating plea that might appease it, the noble spirit. Okay, so I wonder what, what I'm asking here. Because he's, so he is planning, and I could ask him to take control. I could yell to him, that actually will probably not work. Will not work. Uh, No, not bring this. Uh, hurry up. Crew heat the world of Ma Magus Hahnemann. Uh, the crew isn't the problem. The yelling won't work. Yelling won't work. Uh, uh, this is not the time to rush, rush things. Direct control. Uh, I don't know about this. I don't. I won't interfere. Warp 
Oops, bomb her in while we did the sheep. Okay. There would be only a hint there as I'm searching for a way to rectify the error. My temple, take the commerce, hit my instruction. Admirably done. Don't my say, guys, me. Servants of the machine guard, head my command. Acolytes, prepare the incense. Instrumentation of the liturgy of machine spirit cooperation. Senior techmans recite the prayer to generate a current data report. Operations will be marked uh, with the campanological protocol ominous and uh, free choice. Complete reassembly of the warp sextant. Okay. But as we do not have one hundred house at our disposal, we want to omit this procedure. Minor deviation the right of operation for the sake of peace in the spirit. Okay, what must I do? Place your hand inside the throat of the cookitator guardian, Kyber Gargoyle, which has been assigned to guard the forbidden data crypts. So I'm going to be they are going to fight me again. Have a mercy of on our souls. This mechanism awaken in renewed purity. Mass of errors in the warp sex test calculation is destroying the rate data repositories. The offering did not appease the ship spirit. The warp engine cannot be filled with motive wars. We are trapped. Perhaps an alternative Russian protocol or an emergency launch of auxiliary coils. Quiet response, injury rescue quarry. Oh, hello, machine spirit, in the name of Omessa and the Emperor Rebel uh, unto us, your power and guard us against our doom. Only one monitor listen, remains in red. Registering warp sextant activated registering data stream is stabilizing registering zero data errors found. Reporting the warp engine is ready for translation. 
I'm also reporting evidence in the category 3 miracle wolf feeling the criterion. Those have witnessed the mechanism that toys in glorifications of its function and in defiance of the activation. So this, this is pretty interesting because intelligence, intelligent machines are banned in a Warhammer 40k universe. Uh, yeah. So every uh, every intelligent or co uh, machine that is co co uh, calculating something has a human component, and it could be like servitor here. Here, this is servitor. He, it's a cyber zombie basically, but it's usually part of some computing system. Box uh, cogitator. They are calling it cogitator. So I think what happened is that this ship has an artificial intelligence, the machine spirit, but and it responds to the direct commands of the uh, rogue trader. We are ready to begin the translation to the warp. Commence translation. Okay, that's an exterminators. Start, this game started out really, really well. Valencia's flagship made its way out of the doomed star system. As the void shift plunged deeper into the Corona's expanse, the rogue trader's subjects bid a formal farewell to the late head of the dynasty, Theodora von Valencius. Having paid their last respects, the crew gathered their strength and braced themselves for whatever was to come next. So they threw her into warp. Well, that's a bright idea. Journey through the warp is coming to an end. We have reached a point where we can translate to real space in Furibundu system. Home to footfall only on Imperium outpost with a functioning warp. The Chronos expands. Tech priests are begging you to have mercy on the machines burned down the warp and all of the servants of Omasa to inspect the heal the watching wounds. In the dock, uh, the prayers and rituals will take some time with our astropathic choir. Will you use to establish connection with the prime verse of uh, your protectorate? Draconus, Janus, and Kiavakama. Nice. I've, I'm owning, owning three planets. Rook here with the invitation preserved a drift in Materium. Leads of foot for Hamburg request an audience. The rock trader of the one Valencius dynasty. Tinted with the shades of bleeding, I quote, apparently uh, the leech is anxious to meet as soon as, as, soon as possible. Footfall. The bank place where filth and sanctity go hand in hand. Revert. Uh, 
will most likely expect visit from me. I imagine he will be interested talking to you as well, fake or not. I will be leaving your watchship when we arrive, footfall. Once that's done, consider lot Inquisitor task complete. Lord, uh, Lord young Ivan Winterscale has asked me to convey his gratitude for your hospitality and for saving him from certain death. Not wishing to out outstay his welcome, he plans to disembark at footfall. But Ivan swears he will not forget his debt to you. Oh, all right, I forget him. I hereby inform the rock trader that during the comprehensive system inspection right to this unit discovered data clusters within the captain's cogitator that are concealed from prying eyes by means of personal cipher and sacraments of algorithmic authorization. I have been added to the access list and assigned the identity keeper tool. The unit can access the data from the captain's cookie data. Provided that he possesses the disk decryption key. Are you leaving, Hendrix? I hope we mean again, true servants of temper are always welcome aboard my ship. Arkenta, who is this reverend here that who wants to talk to me? Uh, he's the head of the Drusian mission on footfall and one of the most prominent clergymen of the sector. I suppose he's going to have something, some job for us. I assisted his mission before I learned Lady Theodora's on her voyage. Voyage. Quick, just tell me about the system we are arriving in. It's valuable to its close proximity to the mall, gateway to the Imperium. System is mostly gone for footfall, the main base, the merchant privates and rock traders. Traversing the Chronos Expanse. Star itself is orbited by Adeptus Mechanical Station. Which is all off limits to outsiders. Altar Templum Galaxies X17. I had the honor of tending to this shrine for a few thousand cycles. I suggest you abstain from visiting it. As most day comrades at the station are against in meditative calculations that should not be interrupted. But do I need to know about footfall? Glad largest port and the training capital of Kronos Expanse. Dockyard that will allow us to inspect and repair the void ship and post its own astrophytic core. Kronos Expanse communications nexus. Not to mention private hideouts, smuggler catches, and forts belonging to the dozen gangs, groups, and factions. The Kronos Expansion Imperial relies on this at the, at, as its outpost. The fringes of humanity domain rarely resemble its centrum, centrum verge, but, uh, but so long as footfall serves the God Emperor, in so far as it can, it will be considered citadel of the Imperium. Although I have heard that the Titus sense are underwhelming, so uh, to say at least, so they are not sending mu mu much to the Im Imperium. No one at the station knows about La Lady Theodore's domies. Uh, demise. 
and you inheriting the title leads Tokara will be informed it's required so that we can use the dog and besides he's expecting a personal audience of Twitter of trader he will not meet with an unknown person of unclear standing can either arrive on the station with a proper pomp and ceremony or goes visiting incognito how they benefit me according to food fossil unwritten law rock traders enjoy special privileges that exceed aim at the power of the leech however they may choose not to exercise privileges in certain situations Having incognito will give you more room for maneuver, while on official visit will allow you to directly intervene in local affairs. As shall I explain if you don't, do not mind, a currently unwritten rule every rogue trader arriving to the st at the station has a right to veto any, any of the leech's decisions, but there's a catch. Cross expanse is home where several infer influential drug trader dynasties and footfall is where their interests intersect of course that does not prevent certain persons namely Calico's winter scale from subtly pulling the strings in footfall if you as a new rock trader start your career with an official landing and a parade in your honor that other dynasties must see this gesture Newcomer challenging the spheres of influence. I do not see it as a bad thing necessarily. On the old man winter scale might take slight offense. Corada will be put on her guard. But you have just risen to prominence and most people in the Kronos expanse have not even heard about Lady Theodore's departure yet. It must be made clear that the banner of Mon balances source as high as ever. Uh, I think he's, he's, he's onto something here. I, if I may, I would I recommend arriving incognito. You will have plenty of opportunities to save a sweetness and burden of power. But right now is the last time you can take refuge in obscurity. Last time. Okay. This way your arrival will not draw as much attention. And people will treat you as a person, and not almighty sovereign, unmoderated by the emperor. It could turn some situation to your advantage. I wonder. What do you think? Which 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 I should choose? Should choose? Because I I like the idea that I would be going incognito, and nobody would know me. But if I arrive a rogue trader that's like take me to your leader kind of situation so it's politics which I don't know about so I think the arriving incognito is better let's go with it some little buff Acceleration. Once per turn.
Energy Plasma Torpedo is short range. What's the pram? Okay, so ne I need to point the. Um, Lance batteries, volley! Restart shields. Okay. Macro cannons. Open fire. Helmsman, take us in. Make every shot count! Just out of the reach. All hands, prepare for acceleration. Let's out, out of range. Let them taste our fury. Macro cannons, open fire. Helmsman, take us in. Okay, that's that. That's like, uh, well, tutorial basically.
Your lordship forgave me not for coming with the pro appropriate op op obsidians. We were told you would prefer to arrive on foot for incognito, so we are trying to act attract as little as attention as possible. I'm here before the leech of footfall. Lord Madam Tokara, the leech awaits the chance to speak with you at his residence. But if you happen to have other business to attend to, I can serve you a guide and tell you about the station. This so familiar, behind the amber colored scattering words of welcome, far less appealing, appealing huge lurk, murdy and diluted. The look of someone accustomed to lighting and hiding <laughs> their intentions. Someone's coming, they're coming for us. Watch out, Lord Captain. Who's coming? Lot of them angry, they got teeth, but they are that sharp. No shot. Strength in numbers. Hey, newcomers! Okay. How's this for a warm welcome? Okay. Fun. I act. Isn't this a job for the serfs? As duty demands. My place is at the fall. Oh, missed. Oh no. That's not Rending shot. Oh no. Faith without deeds is worthless. our cover it's no more no more yeah I need to better plan these slightly better I act. Taking calculated risk is in my second nature. I'll make it happen. Uh, 
Yep. If he can assault, he should assault. What else do we have? It's as good as done. Uh, you could go to the cover. Will do. I'm a member. That is not my destiny. But this this looks de definitely like a Necromunda set. Necromunda is a, is a skirmish play game for 40k. Let's try with a, a bit <laughs> bit more bang. Heroic push. Okay. So, okay, yes, I, if I push, I can actually cast two, cool, two skills in one turn, why the game isn't ending, battle isn't ending. Ah, uh, there's a side, people at the side. On it. Okay, that, that's all. <laughs> Better protect the guild, guild. Every time I warn them, and then they go all, go all, dear Emperor, Lord and Savior, how could this have happened? Who could have thought? We are not young, man. We took care of the attackers. Do you know who they were? And worse, they are gang. They are worst, I'm telling you. They are scared no one, even Leech Tokara. Does this still kind of happen often here? Shooting, yes, attacks on nobles, not very often. Unless it's Anvers. They're vicious. The week goes by without them killing and cutting somebody. They're wicked heretics, they respect nothing. They follow no rules. Gonna report this to the le leech. Okay. They were slightly tough, by the way. Combat shotgun. Pay the axe. Change sword. What, what else? My house would be proud of me. Good stuffs. What ship? We haven't checked this area here yet, so. Some kind of bazaar. Is there money to be made? Now uh, you can see that it, it's in the space, which is really cool. I always have a backup plan. This is where I wanted to go.